I'm a good diabetic, but I'm afraid of needles, which a lot of people are. And so I've never actually, I've given myself a shot maybe five times in my life, but I have everyone around me do my insulin shots. She was kind of dependent on other people to go with her anywhere she wanted to go in order to give her a shot of the insulin. Before I came to see Dr. Vecina, I was very non-compliant. I wasn't really doing my prick a lot, and so my A1C was kind of high. I think younger patients, it's difficult to realize that that's a condition that's for a lifetime. They do need to take care of this condition, unfortunately, 24-7 with no days off. My first visit, they were like, let's try to get you on the pod. And I was like, I don't think I want to do that. And they're like, well, there's options. Like, let's go through them. We talked about availability of different devices and insulin pump. She would never have to take a shot because she just tapes the pod and then clicks the button on the controller and the needle gets inserted. So you never actually see the needle, which was a plus for me. And then that's when Anna came in as well. And she came to my house and had a pod with her. And she kind of showed me exactly how to do it, how to dose it, how to get all the settings on my monitor correct for what my body needed and walked me through the whole process. Having the pod has allowed me to really expand my horizons. I was able to go abroad. I never thought I'd be able to do that. Being able to be independent, fully independent, was, was great. Stanford has helped me realize that diabetes does not define who I am. You can still live your life. You can still do normal things. Sure, you have to change a little bit of your lifestyle, but like that doesn't mean you have to change your outlook on life.